Well, hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and I am an independent Sensi consultant and I'm coming to you today with something a little different. I've had some questions in the last couple of weeks about Sensi's mini warmers. So I thought I would bring this as a topic today. I'm just going to call this Thursday Thoughts. So first of all, if you know me at all, you will know that with any Scentsy collection, I am very likely to pick up the mini warmer. I think they are charming and beautiful, and I use them not just for melting wax, but also as decor, as seasonal celebration, in reference to different holidays, and also just for beauty and as night lights. So to me, they have a lot of different functions. I am also blessed with a home that has a lot of outlets at height at the height of maybe chest high or waist high, so they're very visible in the home. So at any given time, I probably have four or five of these, um, you know, positioned in different rooms in my house. So I enjoy them throughout the year for all different reasons. So the reason this question came up. Uh, if you'll think back to our flash sale that we had in March, I guess that was March 17th, and here we are in May already, which today's May the 5th as I'm filming this. Unbelievable that we're in May already. During that flash sale, there were a number of mini warmers that were offered at $8. So you can imagine people scooped them up, and my customers certainly bought a number of these. So the shipping took a while. I think Sensi was you know, really inundated with orders. So most of the shipments are complete now, and I'm starting to get some questions, particularly from customers who hadn't bought mini warmers much before. And they're saying, hey, I love these, they're adorable, but I'm not getting the kind of performance from them from a, a wax strength and throw standpoint that I was expecting. And I think that's a fair comment, so I kind of want to talk a little bit about that. First of all, a mini warmer is never going to pack the same punch that a full-size warmer is. I have a few that are good performers, but they're just not ever going to have that kind of oomph. It's a very small light bulb. It's a tiny 15 watt light bulb. And so there are a few things you can do to enhance performance. First of all, some of them are made of a material that gets hotter than others. So for me in my home, these unglazed ceramic warmers do very well. And I'll talk more about them here in a minute. But that's one thing, material of construction can have an effect. Other things you can do to enhance their performance is their placement in the home. These do best in a small area. So they do very well for me in a small bathroom. They do well in an entryway that has some enclosed quality to it. They do well in a like a walk-in closet. I don't have any walk-in closets, but people have told me that they perform well for them for in their home that way. Um, so those are some, you know, any smaller room that doesn't have a huge airflow going through it is probably going to be a good bet. Also, you can choose wax for these that you know to be uh, better performers. So if you have a, a, a wax that's a light performer, it's just going to struggle more in, in a mini warmer. So for example, this is the T-Rose uh, warmer, which I absolutely love. This is a ceramic warmer and it is unglazed. This is a great performer for me. So the other night, I just wanted to see it. We were sitting in the living room and I just wanted to be looking at this because it's so beautiful. And when it's lit, it glows. It's absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to use this one. And we, the living room is my toughest room to scent. It's, it has a lot of airflow going through it. So I put it in the entryway, which is not enclosed in our home. We come right into the living room but I put cocoa lime in it because, you know, cocoa lime's a heavy hitter. That's a good performer. So I put that in, and I'll tell you, even in the living room, I could smell this everywhere in the room. So this is a good performer, and I used a heavy hitting wax. So I wouldn't put something that you know to be, you know, honeymoon hideaway or something that's typically light. I wouldn't ask a mini warmer to try to deal with that. It's just, it's, it's not appropriate for that use. So I am going to talk now about these warmers in particular because these are my best performers of the mini world. This is Mini, mini Jack and he often comes out around Halloween um, in plenty of time to get him for that. This little one performs almost as well as some of my full-size warmers 
He is an unglazed ceramic. And then you have Jack and Zero and a little pumpkin on the side. I think it's adorable. And this is a really good little performer. So that's Mini Jack. Then the tea rose I've already shown you. And then this is the, I think it was called Beneath the Waves. I'm not positive about that. It looks like a sea urchin. And this little guy is also unglazed ceramic. And this does really well for me in my home. Behind that we have, this is, I think it's Sea Life. So you have all the different little sea creatures. Again, unglazed ceramic. And this one does quite well. Plus it's just charming. So I really enjoy these. So those are probably my best performers. Now, I have a number of others. I think I have 22 in total. So yes, I am an, enth an enthusiast. And I rotate them throughout the year. So I have three rows. And I'll take a thumbnail at the end so that you can see them all set up. But I have some that are holiday reference mini warmers, some that are nature or, you know, seasonal, but not necessarily a holiday. And then some that are just beautiful or fun. So first of all, let's do the holiday ones. I'm just sharing this for the pleasure of talking about diff the different mini warmers. So this one from the holiday season, this is the little gingerbread man in a hot mug of cocoa. So I usually use him, you know, toward the end of the year around the Christmas holidays. This is one of my favorite warmers. This is from the holiday, the, the Halloween collection. I absolutely, or was it maybe the, I guess we called it the fall collection. So this guy with an orange bulb, oh my goodness, he just glows. And he's a fair performer, you know, not as good as the other ones behind, but a fair performer. I bought two of these because I have plugs on either side of a doorway and he just hollers out Halloween. This is the blue menorah warmer. I'm half Jewish, so I'm very happy to use him around the Hanukkah time of year. And this was from the Valentine's collection. Hundreds of little hearts. And although I have a blue um, bulb in there at the moment, around Valentine's Day I used a red bulb, and this was stunning. So it threw a beautiful light pattern of, of little hearts on the wall. It was just absolutely lovely. And that is also a ceramic base. Now this next group is more nature, um, seasonal type. So I tend to rotate these in and out depending on the season. So this was from Life's a Garden collection and it shows the lavender sprigs. There's a full size warmer that matches this and I absolutely love this. That is a glazed ceramic. It's a decent performer, not as good as the ones behind me. This guy is, I forget his name, and it looks like millions of little pieces of beach glass. This matches my home colors very much. Oh, I, just, I put this in a prominent place between the living room and the kitchen because I want to see this all the time. It's just beautiful. This is a glass um, warmer. Not a stunning performer, but I will stack the deck by using a stronger wax. This one was from the Easter collection. This is a, you know, I have to say, I think that's a hard plastic. And this is um, daisies and it came with many, it came with three different colored bulbs. So you could get different light effects. And I'm gonna show you different light effects toward the end of the video in, a, in the one warmer on the um, dresser there. So this was beautiful. I love that they gave it out with the different colored light bulbs. This one is a glass warmer. It is willows and very, you know, reminds me of spring because of the pink color. This one, this one came in a whiff box, I believe in, was it in February? I don't recall. No, maybe it was, well, anyway, it was in a whiff box. I think it was the first time a whiff box ever had a uh, mini warmer in it. So the tie dye, which to me is very summery because I think of all the tie dye t-shirts. So that one, I, I just for fun. And the last one that I think of seasonally is this owl. And the little owl, I think of him in the fall and winter when I hear all the barred owls outside calling, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? So I like this one is to me not my best performer, but it's beautiful and I love having it around to see. All of these work well as nightlights. Some are brighter than others. 
And if it's too bright, you can use a different colored light bulb to subdue that effect. Now, some of these are just, like I said, for fun or for beauty. For fun, I recently bought Batman. <laughs> so if you grew up in the 60s, I was born in 58, so you can do the math, but I'm going to be 64 soon. Um, this guy was prominent in our childhoods. So when this show came out, it was on Wednesday and Thursday evenings. There was a cliffhanger on Wednesday evening, and you worried about them all day long on Thursday, and it was always happily resolved on Thursday night. So anyway, very much part of my childhood, and you do get the bat signal in the back of this one. So the detailing on some of these, I just enjoy seeing them, and I enjoy using them as decor. So this guy, I probably put, I've had him in the bathroom because my husband thought it was hilarious and I put it in the utility room. Yes, Clemmy, I know. Hang on a second. Here. Oh, my cat sort of wants to come up. All right, then we had the blue agate and this was the scent of the month, warmer, well, warmer of the month. I think it was January and it's just beautiful. Then we have the, um, this is Gatsby, and it doesn't do it justice. You may see the different colors there. When this is lit, it's very Art Deco and stunning. The picture in the catalog did not do this justice, which unfortunately is often true. I wish we could better capture the pictures. I try to share on social media when I when something is gorgeous. And, okay, two, there's three more here. So this one I bought last year. It is kind of a teal color, and I don't recall the name. It has a kind of diamond pattern. Um, not the best performer in the world. This is glass, but it's stunning when it's lit. So again, I use these for decor, night light. He makes a great night light. Similarly, this fellow, very pretty pattern. Not the great. This is glass. Not the best performer, but I enjoy seeing it. And last but not least, of this group, we have the Toronto Maple Leaf. So Toronto, I do root for, okay, the Leafs. And as we speak, the Leafs are one and one in the playoffs for the Stanley Cup. So go Leafs! This is a ceramic glazed warmer. And actually this fellow throws okay. He doesn't throw as well as the unglazed in my home. But I just enjoy seeing this because I'm a fan. And I should mention, look at the look at the um, the players on the sides. The detail; those are different. They have a slightly different pose. So, Toronto Leafs. Okay, I do want to show you this fellow is a glass warmer, and you have the option of using a tabletop base for either the ceramic type or the glass type. The glass type screw in, the ceramic type you have to insert and twist. So I'm going to show you what a different light bulb can do to change the character of the warmer completely. And it's true for the big size warmers as well as these little guys. But hold on just a second. Okay, I have brought the camera over a little closer here. So here it is unlit. And you saw it before with a regular clear light bulb. And now I'm going to show you with the green light bulb. So here we go. Isn't that beautiful? It totally changes the character of the warmer. And I think as a woodland scene, that's just lovely with the green. So I'm going to show you one more. I mean, you can use this with red, with orange, with blue. It's very pretty with blue. But I want to show you one more with with a uh, purple because if you're concerned about light in a given room and you want to use it as a night light but not have it too bright, you'll see what it looks like in just a second. And we're back. As usual, I struggled with the pause button before. So here we are again. This has the purple bulb in it. And if you just want a, a subdued lighting, look at that. Now it's not dark enough in here to show how beautiful that can be. Maybe if I come a bit closer, 
at night. Oh, it's just lovely. So you can get a lot of different effects with the different colored light bulbs in the mini warmers as well as the full size. So there you have it. Um, just to recap, to get your best bang for the buck from a wax intensity standpoint, use your stronger waxes, go in a smaller area, and if you're really aiming for a good throw, then you can choose some of the, the uh, unglazed ceramic uh, construction that will probably help amp up that performance. But they can certainly be used as night lights, decor, seasonal reference, holiday reference, and just for the sheer fun of having them around. So thank you so much for listening. I hope this was useful. And until next time, hug your families. Bye for now.